major problem. What? The floor is squishy. Are you shitting me right now? Ladies and gentlemen, U799 back again with another Power Stroke video. And most of you guys know that uh, I've been doing a little bit on the truck here. I'm making a ton of videos. Um, I'll probably release them as I get them. But uh, what we're doing today is we replaced the number 7 fuel injector in the truck. And I want to make sure by ohming out the uh, injector harness that it wasn't the harness or that it that it was the actual injector instead of just the harness so it's very easy to do um, off the trucks easiest but you can do it on the truck um, basically the wires are color coded and uh, so what you're gonna do is basically take an ohm meter or a, a voltmeter in ohms mode and then whichever one is questionable you'll touch one lead to the uh, one side of the plug that plugs into the fuel injector and then find that color on the actual harness see how, let me get it see how they're all color coded basically you're just ohming out a wire it's it's fairly simple um, so I'm going to turn the camera down and you guys can watch me do it all right you guys should be able to see that so we're going to do the number seven which is the back one on the harness right here so I'll just probe that one side of that plug and I'll come over here there's a couple green wires in here there's only two so we ought to get fairly oh, no nope, we're not lucky we'll go to the other one and there that one shows 0 ohm 0 0.9 well within the acceptable range so now we'll go to the uh, the black one. There's quite a few more black wires in here. So we'll just move around until we get a reading. And then we'll see what it is. We have a major problem. What? The floor is squishy. Are you shitting me right now? Well, that was fun, guys. My wife just informed me that the dishwasher leaked and completely flooded the kitchen underneath the wood flooring. Yay! Anyway, find the black wire, which is right there. That's just me moving around. 0 0.69. That's within the allowable tolerance of me moving around. So that confirms that uh, it was the injector and it wasn't the harness. Although I replaced this harness because I broke it right there. Not a big deal. I could have reused this harness and now I have an emergency one if I need it. So. I might, uh, glad I shot a bunch of videos because I might not be doing any for a little bit. Uh, I gotta go deal with this. So, till next time guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a comment and subscribe down at the bottom. Maybe like the video, whatever you want to do. Or don't. It makes no difference to me. Y'all have a good day.